What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. So today is a special day. I'm gonna take you guys on a trailer tour of my 14 foot V-Nose uh, ATC Raven trailer. So come on in, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on in here. So this is uh, my pride and joy. Uh, I've spent a lot of time putting this trailer together. So I've got all kinds of uh, stuff in here. I'm gonna go through um, the features and things that we use. So my business is remodeling contractor. So I roll around with pretty much anything and everything that I need on the daily from PVC fittings to all the tools to drywall to lights and things like that. So we have to roll around with a lot of tools to be effective at our job. Keeps us from going back to the supply house or back to the big box store to get something and then come back out on the job site. So I usually roll this bad boy up and you know we're ready to rock and roll. So this stack that everybody envies is my pack out stack. Um, these shelving units are from Glass Impressions. You can look them up on Etsy. Uh, Andy Glass is a solid dude. He makes an awesome product here. He's basically, uh, you know, you customize exactly what you want from him, however many shelves you want. He makes these for sustainers. He makes these for DeWalt tools. He makes these for pack outs. What I really, really love about this setup is they have, they have locks and the drawers pull out. So if I want to, I don't have to take the pack out off of the shelf. I just come to, let's say in this case, my PPE drawer. I grab my respirator out and then I close the drawer back down, close the pack out, and now it's moved back into place and I don't have to worry about it. We roll down the road and we're rocking and rolling. So I have pretty much all of the tools uh, and some fasteners and things in this area of the trailer. So I decided to go with Sterilite tubs. Um, I, I had to come up with something that was efficient, but not like uh, Ron Polk does, uh, where he does his whole trailer with, uh, I, I just didn't like the way he set it up. So anytime that we're coming up for tools or we need something like the Sawzall, we pull the Sawzall off of the shelf and then we can open up the drawer or open up the tote here and we have everything Sawzall that we'd ever need. We have the Sawzalls, all the blades in here, and then we usually head up to the front of the trailer to get batteries, which I will show you here in a second. But easily just up and, up and over the lip of the shelf and I have everything organized uh, up here and labeled so you don't have to worry about uh, being able to find something. I can take a guy from day zero on my trailer and say, hey, go into the trailer on the top right. You know, you'll find oscillating tool in the sterile totes at the top. Pull the oscillating tool, take it up to the front of the trailer, put a battery on it, and I'll see you back inside. So makes it very, very efficient to work out of. So on this side of the trailer is mainly supplies. Um, I have stuff like my miter saw and its stand sits in here. I have uh, everything from my uh, pro knees to a, a 10 by 10 tent to a lot of PVC storage. The Festool Plain X2 sits in a box here and you literally just pull it out and you're ready to rock and roll. So I also stock and keep stuff for uh, pecs here, shims, you know, all those kind of things. On my caulk and my aerosol organizers, these come from JM Plumbing Vans. Get on his website. This is literally jnmplumbingvans.com. Um, he's got a bunch of cool aluminum stuff like this. These are the only things that I basically utilize from him, but really, really solid gear. Allows you to pull your stuff out uh, and see it all right then and there. So moving on down the trailer, I have everything from towels and buckets to uh, miscellaneous totes with all of just random stuff in it that doesn't really have a home uh, to drywall compounds. Uh, every job site has a neoprene, you know, we have neoprene mats we roll out on every job site to protect the customer's floor. Uh, get these bad boys from Amazon, these neoprene rugs. I just cut them into uh, you know different sizes and we lay them out however we need to. And quick, fast, and easy way to uh, roll it out and roll it back up when we're done. Um, I have the DeWalt job site table saw. I've done a review on that. I love the DeWalt job site table saw. Below it is the Festool Auto Clean 36, CT36 vacuum cleaner. These totes are, 
uh, basically all of my all of my stock. So whether we're doing tile, all the things to, that you need to do tile. So uh, lasers, spacers, uh, markers, all the little tools and tricks and little things that you need for tile are all in one tote. Same thing with drywall finishing. All my tools, all that stuff is all in one tote. Um, and then we have, you know, PVC sink stuff, sink and lav. Uh, and then we go into three inch and then I have electrical stuff on the bottom. Uh, a real tight spot that I've configured in the trailer is where I keep my levels and my rocket lights. So I have two rocket lights and the le Stabil level bag in this space alone. Um, some spots that I don't have for tools. I don't have a spot for my second my, uh, circular saw yet. And I don't have spot uh, spot for this caulk gun. Uh, M18 caulk gun, not a good buy. Uh, it, it's okay, it's bulky, it's, it's really bulky. And I would say it's too strong. If you have a bad tube, it will blow the back out of the tube in no time whatsoever. You're like, why isn't this coming out the front? Oh, that's why, because it's coming out all over the gun. So Stabila bag coming forward. I have my, my ladder set up. Uh, I have some of my long items stored in a concrete tube and yeah, so we'll cut and we will go to the other door and I'll show you guys the front of the trailer. All right, guys, welcome to the front of the trailer. So man doors on the passenger side of the truck. So come on in here and I'll show you just what we have going on. Um, I set a lot of stuff up for efficiency. So when I need the guys to just come out and grab something small like a tape measure, we have it right here by the door. So if you watch any of Zach Detmore's videos, he's all about efficiency. I'm the same kind of nerd. I like to be able to you know, pull a pry bar, a tape measure, a red knife, uh, or anything that we're working with, whether it be a hammer, pry bar anything like that can be accessed while you're still standing on the ground so goes along the lines of my Vito pro pack house bag i call it a house bag because this takes care of just about any service call that you would want to do i've done a review on this bag and all the stuff that i have in it um, i'm missing my m18 radius light i left it at a job site uh, so we still need to go back to that customer's house, Jordan, and get that. <laughs> but uh, my radio, my lights, my inflator, a uh, dry erase board for any notes that we need to make. So also customer keys up here. So if I need, you know, if I have a summer home, which we will work on a lot of second homes for customers. So I keep all of their keys up here. Um, so moving on in the trailer, I have my cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff can be uh, gathered from right standing on the ground, right inside the door. I have all my cleaning stuff. I have my bone and mop for my hardwood floors, my, my heart vacuum, my blowers. Um, I usually at Craftsman, uh, the Craftsman shop vac sits here. I've taken that out for a project, but usually Craftsman vac sits there just for extra backup. So moving around, more J&M plumbing vans, uh, caulking and aerosol uh, cans. Um, I didn't have a spot for my gas, my gas probe, whatever you want to call it, my sniffer. Um, combustible gas tester is what they call it. Um, but I didn't have room for that, uh, so I put it there. Whatever. Uh, screwdriver holders, stream light, light. You know, you have your all your M18 chargers and then my bank of batteries. So I really love the bank of batteries. Um, I got this from a guy, or I got these racks from a guy on Etsy. He makes them out of metal. Um, I rub them down with oil so they don't rust. And then your batteries clip right into them so you don't have to worry about them coming off. Another, the, another reason why I wanted these is I can see exactly which battery is missing. I have this 6.0 on the radius light at the customer's house. So we know we're missing that. And I have my M12 on the top off uh, right now running the camera. So uh, moving on up, we got extension cords and stuff, uh, just miscellaneous storage up here. And then we have my Husky professional series box that sits up here for all of our just really, really random things that don't have a home, like excess pins, excess pencils, excess uh, door stuff, strikers, uh, things that you wouldn't, you know, wouldn't otherwise have a, a home for. And then I usually have a lot more ladders in here, but uh, I usually have this area stacked up with ladders. And so, yeah, this is my, my trailer. So I have, uh, 120 volt lighting in here. So you plug it into shore power and we have lights in here. 
Eventually I may do a 12 volt setup so it runs off a battery so that we have that without running an extension cord to a customer's home. But for the most part, you plug in the shore power, then you can charge the batteries. You have multiple outlets. I have the lights on a, on a timer and occupancy sensor. So as soon as we walk up or open the door, the lights come on. Um, after a minute, the lights will go out. And then, yeah, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, all of the necessary things. So once again, yeah, this is a 14 foot uh, Vino's trailer by ATC. Um, it comes with Advantech floors already. I put down vinyl flooring over it just to protect the Advantech. Um, also 3 8 Advantech on the walls. So great stuff for mounting them. I built all of my shelving out of 3 quarter inch Advantech plywood, the best on the market. Um, cut it into pieces I need, either fastened it together with screws or, uh, you know, finished nails. So nice bench up here. Um, like I was saying before, give me one second, I'll go get a tool. Let's say we are getting a jigsaw out. Get our jigsaw out. We can put it on the bench. We can load it up, get our blade that we want. Come over here, grab a battery, plop it on the tool and jump right back out of the trailer and we have what we need. And then when it comes back at the end of the day or at the end of the task, we bring it back, put it back in the tote, put the battery back on the shelf put the tote back together and we're right back up on the shelf. So it gives you a little bit of efficiency uh, and less movements. You go to the back of the trailer, bring your tool up front, do what you need to do, get it out of there. Sometimes we'll just bring the whole tote inside and we'll say, hey, you need two Sawzalls and we need a bunch of blades. We're bringing the whole tote with us. So um, yeah, that's how I have it set up. Uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, comments on this trailer setup, no, no negativity, please. I don't have any time for it in my life. But if you guys have any questions on this setup, I'd love to answer your questions. Um, if you see a tool or an item or, or something, uh, how I did this or where I got that, please reach out. We'll talk about it. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you guys on the next video. How'd you like that?